Well, tonight, Councilwoman Odette Ramos is urging volunteers to join a program to help keep Mervo students safe going to and from school. But safety experts are skeptical. Fox 45's Keith Daniels is live with this story. Keith? Well, Kai, the Councilwoman says it's all about comforting the students and looking out for their safety. But tonight, from one key opponent, that only sounds good in theory. Baltimore City Councilwoman Odette Ramos, outspoken and active, but now pushback on a program. It's a positive thing and it's a way to get community engaged. Supported by the vocal city leader. In a recent letter to constituents, Ramos is urging residents to volunteer for a community watch program at Mervo High School. Volunteers to greet students at the beginning of the day, keep a watchful eye to ensure they're safe and at dismissal, help students feel safe. This is a great initiative that the principal Lawrence has put together um, and we, we need volunteers. But Sergeant Clyde Boatwright, president of the city schools police union. Who's going to provide safety for the volunteers? Believes the councilwoman's call for volunteers could be treading tricky water. Look, and we, we get it. We want alumni and we want community members to be engaged in our uh, you know, with the schools um, as, as police as the police department. We, we encourage that. Um, but we got to be careful that we're not sending people in the harm's way. Now, our school police at Mervo are phenomenal. They are the ones that are protecting our students. Well, we, they can't be everywhere. We need more eyes and ears on the streets. That's all it is. But Boatwright calls Mervo one of the city's, quote, hot schools, where school police officers are dispatched almost daily to quell the disorder, including six fights Thursday, one of which police say included a parent being led in by a student that parent now charged. And last month, a student shot and killed on a parking lot. The suspect, another city school student, tracked down and caught by school police officers. If we had volunteers here that day, uh, they were all potential victims. Uh, when you have a person uh, that has a firearm. Still calling all volunteers. Uh, again, uh, residents who want to go through this and help us out will go through, and I'll be included, will go through a training so that folks know what they can and can't do so that they're also not, you know, know what to look for and to say, oh no, this is a school police thing. This is a, you know, more eyes and ears on the street is a good thing. Well, Boatwright says he's not aware of school police being involved in the talks about this program. He said tonight he's open to talking more about his safety concerns. We're live tonight. Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News.